Hello YouTube. I have some more vintage uh, sportsman hunting papers to show you here. I picked up an auction, a sportsman's auction. I've made a couple videos on this. I don't know how many I'm going to make, probably maybe three or four. So check them out. I'm a classical hoarder of a lot of older stuff. I collect anything and everything, older, newer. I like a lot of paperwork. And uh, anyway, I went to a sportsman's auction. I bought a folder of a lot of stuff the man had collected most of his life. He had so much stuff there. I know the prices went really high. I was able to buy this one album. I stayed on the other videos. So let's take a look. First thing I want to show you today is uh, this is a Peace Officer Equipment Catalog for Remington Peters. See the older motorcycles there. As I said on the other videos, I've been going to auctions for 30 plus years. I like going to auctions. That's where I find probably 99% of my stuff. I go to garage sales, estate sales. But mainly I find stuff at auctions, public auctions. Here's uh, some of the guns that they had for the peace officers. There's a Model 31 Special Police. It's a lot of guns that had. I'm not showing any prices on these. There's one there, Model 81. High power rifles. It says Model 81 Special Police. Pretty interesting gun. The old shell boxes. If you're in older paper items for hunting and stuff, there's some pretty rare stuff here I found. There's the ammunition there, shotgun shells. As I said on the other videos, I like collecting the older paperwork because the illustrations are so detailed. I'll try to get through a lot of this here pretty quick for you. I think this is from 1939. I think it's, yeah, 39. So, just the shows all the uniforms. Not sure what them Bikes were up them or Harleys. My camera's not the greatest, so I'll try to get it as best I can for you. It's a neat old book. Here's some uh, older rod and gun. For uh, 1930. Got some neat illustrations on that. So I, here's some advertisements there. A lot of stuff's really fragile. ads. A lot of people cut these out, put them in frames, they're pretty neat looking. As like I said in the other videos, I'm more or less just a hoarder. I, I go to these sales, never have a lot of money. The bills more or less take everything you got nowadays. And so I buy whatever I can or most of the time I get beat out. Bigger money comes in and walks away with the really good items, but Sometimes you can stick with it and you can find some pretty decent stuff like this here. I thought I did pretty well on this. Most of this stuff was all in one folder. Some neat little ads there. Some hunting ads. Anyway, that's for Rod and Gun 1930 there. 
Here's another one for outdoor life. It's 25 cents, 19, 1932 on this one. The tobacco ads were on everything back in the day. Boat motor there for Lockwood. I know this stuff's getting really hard to come by at auctions anymore. You know, a lot of it's been thrown thrown away over the years. Went for a fishing reel. I know you can find a lot of stuff online nowadays, but you just got to be careful. There's a colored ad there. It's pretty neat. Hedden's new spook lure. The old bass coming in to eat it. I go to a lot of state sales, auctions. You don't know where you find a lot of stuff. You'll, <clears throat> excuse me, go through a box of books and find papers, you know, stuck inside of them. And it's so interesting to collect a lot of different paper. Anyway, that's a outdoor life. Here's something here that's uh, that was in here. Um, really unique piece. This bought ready to fall apart. This is a 1903-1904 for military arms, equipments, and ordnance stores for M. Hartley Co. This is this falling apart. Shows the guns and stuff you could have bought. I'm almost scared to even hold it up. It's just so fragile. Here's a... <clears throat> Here's one here. It says, Genuine Spanish Mauser Repeating Arms. Captured war relics. The U.S. government sold at auction a limited number of Mauser rifles and cartridges captured from the Spanish in Santiago, Cuba. We own a few of these and offer them for sale. Twelve dollars each. It says Mauser carbines boxed each. Twelve dollars. Mauser cartridges per box. It says fifteen seventy-five cents. You can see any of that stuff? There's the Spanish Miles repeating arms. This is this, this paper, some of this paper stuff is just incredible that it's made it this far. It's 2020 now. Here's some more stuff here. Breach loading military arms. Miscellaneous breach loading carbines. Illustrations there. New Remington Lee Magazine Military Rifle, that was $35, model 1899, the one on the top here. Sectional View Magazine, charged and in position. Shows you some of the Remington Carbine. So the man that collected a lot of this stuff had just had a great eye. There. You might have to slow some of this stuff down and pause it. It says on the front here, this stuff's just like hanging on by a thread, it's so fragile. There it says, Quaker Muskets for Boys Brigades. Read all that there. This is a neat little catalog there for M. Hartley. Let's see the back of that. I'm sure if that's a backer. Anyway, there's a... 
shows the military equipment belts and cartridge boxes. That sold for two twenty five for that belt. Anyway, M. Hartley. Here's the uh, here's the back of that thing. Here's the here's for army canteens. Uh, but canteens three dollars and seventy cents for that canteen right there. Trial bayonets for 45 caliber rifles, dollar each. One here on the top. I'm going to have to make my videos short because of uh, the upload speed I have. I'm way out in the country and it takes forever to upload anything larger than probably 10 or 15 minute video. But I'm going to probably make this my last item, and I'm going to move on to another video, so check them out. Here's another neat old book, M. Hartley Company. Uh, not sure. I think this is a 1904 or something on this, too. 1903. It's pretty neat graphics and stuff on this here. Remington Special. I don't know. Automatic ejection. It's a $750. Can't possibly be for that gun, but anyway, here's some of the guns that were in there. It's like double barrels, automatic ejector, Remington hammerless double barrel guns, new styles, grade K, KD, and KED. The best values ever offered in hammerless guns. That gun there is thirty-five dollars. This one here on the top. There's the back of that. Draw. And taped up and try to go through that here a little bit for you. <clears throat> Excuse me, there's the cartridges. Here's a a new Colt target revolver. Eighteen dollars. I think this is a 1903 catalog here. Anywhere the Colt there. Hope you can see a lot of this stuff. There's a, the Atlas 1000 shot air rifle. That was, uh, got the price on that. That's $2. $2 for that gun right there. Let's look on that. It's a really neat catalog here. Kind of thumb through it here quick for you. Remington Lee Sporting Rifles, $25. This one right there, $25. There's Remington Lee Sporting, must be all the same thing. One there for $60, one for $20. It's all off there. There's a Remington target rifles. That's uh, I think twenty-five dollars. That gun there. Just interesting to you know go through these and see what they had back in the day. I don't even try to go after guns at auctions. They bring really big money, way out of my price range. I mainly go to these sales on borrowed money just to be able to buy some of this stuff because once it's gone, it's gone. You're not going to go back and buy it. So anyway, here's a Remington. I can't pronounce it. Schutzen rifle. Not sure what that is. Remington Schutzen rifle is described. $60 for that gun. And anyway, here's some more of them. I can't, it's, I'm getting some glares there for you. Probably can't see it very good. Some fancy guns there. Here's some pretty fancy double barrels. 2250. That was probably a month's earnings back in the day or more. 
Newman machine made guns. More of them there. Average around twenty, twenty one dollars. Tell you what, if you had some of them guns, nowadays you'd have I think they'd be better than having gold. Becoming more and rare, rare every every day that goes by. You just don't see this stuff anymore. Anyway, I'm gonna cut this video so I can get it uploaded. But this is the I think it's 1903 M Hartley Company Arms and Ammunition. It's out of New York. It's a really neat catalog that survived. So, oh, I'm gonna take this video off and. Thanks for stopping by.